Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this couple of videos, we are going to take a detour from pandas and talk about uh, basic descriptive statistics. And the reason for this is that in coming videos, when we start uh, using some of these statistical methods uh, in the code, uh, you'll be able to interpret what the output is and you'll have an intuition about what's probably happening in the background when the code ran to give you uh, that particular output. So here in this uh, couple of videos, we're going to talk about all these topics that are put here on this slide, uh, starting with st what is population and sample in statistics, and then what is histogram, mean, standard deviation, all the way up to geometric mean and harmonic mean. So uh, there's a lot of stuff in here and I tried to make one video, but it was more than an hour. So I've broken that up into multiple videos. And in each of those videos, you'll see uh, parts of this being discussed. So I hope you learn from these videos. So let's get started. Imagine uh, that you are working at a, a company and you have a client who uh, who is uh, maybe a tech client or uh, any industry client who has a problem where they want to analyze the battery life of the laptops that their employers are using. And the problem is that they uh, cannot anticipate when the batteries fail in these laptops. And if, if they are able to find that out and predict when the batteries fail, then they, what they could do is uh, order replacement batteries ahead of time so that their employees or the users of the laptop don't face any issues with downtime of battery uh, uh, if they fail and they have to order new batteries. So uh, in this set, in uh, thinking of this scenario or use case, what we are going to do is uh, proceed with how we can extract data for this project and then just show you uh, what each of those terms which I showed earlier on the f first slide could apply in this situation. So here this is one laptop, it has this battery, the green bar shows that the battery is full and let's say you have uh, some kind of voltmeter and that's what you use to check the life of the battery and the bad life of the battery is measured in minutes or hours uh, any time uh, that it takes to drain the battery so before we get on to get into the specifics what we are going to do is look at what population means and what a sample means in uh, statistics okay so let's say uh, you have uh, uh, initially you are requested to analyze data uh, from 112 laptops and you'll say okay yes i can do that maybe in a month i can go meet all the folks in the building of my office or in the building of the client's office and check their laptops see how much how long the batteries run and record the minutes and you'll say okay that's not a problem so i can go ahead and measure all 112 and that is perfectly fine now let's say the client comes back and is impressed by your work and now they say okay uh, why don't you measure uh, the life of the batteries in our laptops at offices in four of our locations in the city and now the work starts building up now we have 448 laptops let's say now if you go through each of these laptops it's probably it's going to get take you more time uh, than one month and uh, in that case situation you'll say oh that's not a problem i'll get help from other team members and get that work done that's fine too and again you are able to measure each and every laptop that was in the space population space now the things have changed now let's say a month from now the uh, need to measure the battery life of laptops have increased to 1792 now you have uh, about almost 2000 laptops how do you work with that and even if you devise a plan to measure each and every laptop 
or for the battery life it's going to cost money and time and think about it if what happens if there are more laptops to be measured for battery life than this let's say uh, now the clients want you to handle a global project where they want you to measure the battery life of all the employees at all the office locations around the globe and now you have a problem at hand to measure battery life of almost uh, 680,000 laptops how do you do that that's almost the impossible case and believe it or not if if the need increases further now well the clients client and your company all everybody wants to check the battery life of the laptops that the employees are using all over the globe now you have almost 392 million laptops to measure and that's just impossible you just can't go and measure them okay so in this situation uh, the population and sample comes in statistics to help you out so the population if you look at this final scenario this set of laptops which is 392 million that's a population those are all the laptops that are available uh, that need to be analyzed so that's the complete population now because you cannot go and measure battery life for each of those laptops what you do is pick a small subset of that and let's say you picked 60 laptops from the entire population of those 392 million and now that 60 laptops that you picked that is called as a sample okay now there are different ways of sampling uh, we won't go into that but i'll just show you that instead of picking all 60 laptops from let's say one particular office you could choose to pick 12 from one or 12 and then 12 from other and just go and picking and now you have kind of randomized uh, how you collect data from laptops so it's not just one office so you have picked several different locations so that will that would get you a little bit more clearer uh, picture of what the battery life of those laptops is as compared to the entire population of laptops. That's what population is. It's the entire samples, entire all the laptops that were out there and sample is just a few laptops that you actually picked and used for checking their battery life. Okay. That was it for this video. In next video, we'll continue this discussion about statistics. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.